we're working on a 12 inch loom, a uh, 12 inch square. Uh, you can see there's pattern markings on the side, so we're going to go over changing colors and uh, the pattern markings. Uh, but we're going to begin uh, with our first color. And how you begin is first make a slip knot. And you're going to place that slip knot right at the top nail. And you're going to pull this down. You want to keep your tension on your yarn. Go all the way to the bottom nail. And we're always going to go clockwise around our nails. Go right back up to the nail on the, to the left. Now you're going to go under that first yarn, grab, place it on your next nail, and you're going to create the, the number four. And you're going to bring this line straight down. You're going to place your right side and then your left side on your nail, always going clockwise, keep your tension, and go right back up again around the nail going clockwise. This right here where you're holding, this is always what you're going to grab from. You're going to go under, over, under, grab, place on your next nail, create the number four, and ride that line right back down again. And we're going to continue to do this until we get to our first pattern mark. And that's where we're going to change colors. Again, we're keeping our tension, also keeping these lines nice and straight. We're at our pattern mark, and this is where we're going to change colors. Now, leave yourself anywhere from six to eight inches of a tail. Now you're always going to weave in your next color. Tie a knot, just a simple square knot on the left side of your nail, keeping your tension on both threads. Make sure your lines are nice and straight and begin weaving again. You can see how these strands are starting to bow. Keep them nice and straight. It's easier to fix them as you do them than to have to go back and straighten them out. And we're coming to our next pattern mark. change colors again. Leave yourself six to eight inches. Now these pattern marks that I've made, you can use them or not use them. They're basically there just as a guide. nice and straight.
hit another pattern mark. So we're going to change colors again. Again, we're just going to make a nice tight square knot. Now the X that I've burned right here, this is your center of your loom. And you can choose to do an accent color there or not. But we're going to go right to our next burn mark. to this light gray here so that way we have uh, a pattern so we're doing the blue in the center and then here we're going to do gray and here this tan color and then we're going to go back to this blue and that way we'll have a complete pattern and like I said these burn marks are only here as a guide if you wish to use them
So here we're going to skip a nail so that way it's one, two, three, four on this side and one, two, three, four on this side. Um, I always get questions on why I have an extra nail on my loom and it's the way the math works in the continuous strand weave. There's always going to be an extra nail um, on your finishing side. 
and it doesn't matter uh, which side you start on, there's always going to be one. So as you can see here, I skipped the one here and I'm going under this so that way it's even. Your, your finished piece will come out just fine uh, as long as your over and under is correct, your weave is correct, then skipping a nail is not going to make any difference whatsoever. really important to make sure those lines are nice and straight. do in our weave and we have one nail on this side and one nail on this side but instead of bringing this and bringing two lines through because that would be wrong um, because you have your over and under here and your over and under here so we just need one line to go through from here to here so what we're going to do is we're going to measure that last string giving ourselves six to eight inches extra and now we're just going to pull through that very last string This is where we're going to tie off. So we're going to bring our yarn through and in that loop that you just created you're going to put your tail through that loop and pull it through just like the end of a crochet. And so this one here also you're going to pop that off. That was where you made your slip knot. Take that knot out. Now you're going to create a loop 
and then put your tail through the loop and pull it tight. All right, we've tied off our ends, our starting end and our ending end, and now we're able to just take it right off the loom. And you can see with our nails, there's no catching. Just pop it right off. And also with the continuous weave, there's no binding off. So you already have a finished edge. <laughs>